With the straws, we have tried to understand the behavior of the charges. Like charges repel and unlike charges attract. Two straws were rubbed with the same paper and when they are brought together, one straw repelled another straw. From this, we can say that like charges repel. But when two straws are rubbed with different clothes and brought together, they try to come closer, which means unlike charges are attracting. Similarly, the same thing can be done with the balloons. You take two balloons and bulge them and paste in their mouth. And you rub the balloon, two balloons with the same cloth simultaneously. After rubbing them, you bring close one to the other, close one, bring close to one balloon. What do you observe? The balloons try to repel, move away from each other. Now you repeatedly what you do, now you, you rub one balloon with one cloth, the, you do not rub the other balloon. And now you try to bring the rubbed balloon to the non-rubbed balloon. What do you observe? The balloons will attract each other. Which means there are two types of charges. When light charges come together, they repel. Brought together, they repel. But when unlike charges brought together, they try to attract. In this way, we can understand the nature of the charges with the balloons also. You might have observed when you buy food grains like idli rava, upma rava, and some other powders from this shop. When you are bringing, you might sh sh you might shook it, but when you are trying to put into the container. All the grains will be attracted by the, most of the grains will be attracted by the uh, polythene sheet. Not most, some of the grains will be attracted by the polythene sheet. Even you shake it, they may not fall down. Why does it happen so? Due to the friction between the grains and the cover, some electric charge is produced. Due to that electric charge, these are attracted to the polythene sheet. So there also electrostatic force acts and the behavior of the charges can be observed. The same thing can be observed in thermocol balls. When two thermocol balls are rubbed with one cloth, they repel each other. But when those two are rubbed with different things, they may try to come closer and attract. In this way, we can understand the nature of the charges. Thank you.